can't be talking to me. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on another great video on a cool classic car. I think if you're here looking at this video right now, you're going, you know what? I just need to see a little bit more and I gotta figure a way to get this in my life and that's my job today. My job is to help you find a way to get this in your garage. All right, so uh, my feeling is that we should look at a video versus pictures for a couple different reasons, right? Um, when I say that, I say that pictures can make a car look great and video will show us for sure if the pictures match the car and that's why we do this, right? Quality of paint, restoration, what are we getting in the car? How does the door fit? Uh, when you close the door, is there a lot of rattles? Does the, uh, is the interior finished properly? Uh, what other extras do I get on the car with it? That's exactly why we're gonna spend a few minutes walk around this car. I think that uh, by the time we're done, uh, hopefully you'll really like it. All right, so you say, why is this car so shiny in the showroom here? Well, it's because it's under these beautiful LED lights. It's really nice, Wimbledon white paint. And Wimbledon white is a great looking color. However, I feel like Wimbledon white is not so great just by itself, right? Uh, when you get a red interior and you get the red stripe and you get the dual red line tires, right? Those are the little touches that make a car just different. Because people say to me all the time, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but we don't really know why, right? The stripe these right here uh the red interior which is brand new like all of that little stuff there kind of uh adds to all that and then on the hood it's detailed the trunk is detailed and like this is a classic car you could really be proud of the underneath looks really great too check out the pictures of those but i try to do quality of paint in these videos and while white doesn't do a great job you can look at the lights in this paint here and it looks really good uh, i try to do these here white is not a great reflector of white on white, but hopefully you can get an idea of how crisp and clear the letters are, knowing that uh, uh, the clearer the letter is, the better quality the paint. And not to mention, it's a pretty shiny, great looking car in here. All right, you may not have ever thought about going to a car show or owning a car like this and taking it to a car show. You say, well, I just want to get a classic car to go drive. Well, it's okay to just do that too. But if you wanted to go to a car show, we've set it up so that you can. And the team here at Flemings has done their part. And let me tell you what I mean by that. So for instance, like if you went to a car show, they're gonna ask you to open the hood, right? It's like opening the front door of your home and letting people in because this is an important part of cars. Cars with like a one cylinder engine are not super sexy, but a car with a V8, a small car like this with a V8 is powerful and great driving. It's what they call a pony muscle car, right? A smaller car that makes muscle. Here it's detailed, right? And what do I mean by that? So when you open the hood, the air cleaner is, is uh, painted properly. It's, uh, the engine is painted. The uh, washer bag is here. The emissions decal is here. This battery topper in place. Like it looks really nice when you open the hood. Maybe you just want to walk out in your garage, glass of wine or a beer, open the hood, stare at this for a little bit, maybe wipe something down get back on the road and go enjoy the day. But the point is that like all of this stuff is done for you. It has the dual horns here. And you say, well, Tony, every car comes with horns. No, let me just tell you 100% that is not the case. Many times we get cars here have no horns at all. I don't understand how people can even drive cars without horns, but they do. So we make sure that when you get this things, little stuff like the turn signals work, the horns work, uh, you know, like the flashers work, like all of the little ancillary stuff like that. We try to make sure uh, that we go through and deliver you the car like that. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, every car has that or they do that. And I'm gonna tell you from the thousands of cars we, we, we have had through here, most of them do not do that. And when you buy a car out on the street, you're not getting all that stuff. So think about that for a minute. This is such a nice little car. I, don't, I, I know that because we're offering it to you that we're required to say that, but we're not really required to say that. And I don't say that about every car, but some cars are just nicely done cars. They're just like the paint in this car is great. I'm a huge fan of, of a red interior, all new taillights and bezels, new bumper, new gas cap, new uh, uh, weather stripping, new trunk lock. The trunk is detailed beautifully with the correct tartan mat. It has the jacking instructions in here. New weather stripping here the way it's supposed to be, right? These little things you say, well, that should be on every car. Well, it's not on every car, man. There are, when you get a car and you get a car that, you know, is sold as restored or not restored or as a project -y car, this is a lot of work to get all this stuff to work right. Not to mention uh, here, you can see that like, they didn't uh, just spray bomb everything one color. They painted a thing, new fresh bolts, 
like detail stuff, new trunk bumpers. It may not seem like a big deal to you, but what I see is detail stuff that somebody put the extra effort into. And not to mention how nice it sounds when you close it. All right, so think about this. You're leaving work, it's four o'clock. You're like, oh my God, it's been a week from hell, but you remember that you drove this beautiful car, right? You drove this to work today, it's down in the parking lot or it's outside, and you're walking up to it going, oh man, I love this car. It is so beautiful. I want you to see this view of it. Then you go to get in, and you're like, oh, this, this is a game changer. So little stuff uh, that I want you to think about when you're uh, buying a classic car, right? Uh, how new is the interior? This interior here is new, right? Does it have a console? May not seem like a big deal to you, but five or seven hundred dollars for a console, all this little stuff adds up. Two thousand dollars for an interior, then somebody to install it, right? Upgraded stereo system in here. This has the full gauges that they're working the way they're supposed to be working. We have turn signals working the way they're supposed to be working, right? All of those little things add up to a much nicer car. Secondly, when you get a car like this, going to dinner with another couple or the kids, uh, right? is a game changer. This is different, man. It's not like your daily driver. Your daily driver is the world's greatest car ever built, but this makes a sound and a feel that elicits also a smile and a response from people that are out there uh, that brings them back to a different time. I found, feel like I'm running for office right now while I'm saying all these things, but my point is this, is that is that this is designed to take you to a different place. Meaning that when you leave work at four o'clock, right? Call whoever it is that you're on the way home, love you, see you a little bit, whatever, and then shut the phone off, man. Get rid of the feed, right? The social feed, the boss feed, the, the uh, text message, the email, the ding, 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 ding. All the stuff coming in, all the superfluous noise coming at you, right? <sighs> Shut that off. Stream your music to your to your stereo here. We can upgrade the stereo if you want to. We hide it in the glove box and put a stock kind of stereo in here where you can stream all the music from your phone. You can have uh, you can have Bluetooth if you want, so you don't need you can do hands free. Uh, it's got satellite. It's got all that stuff in there, and you just man, you know what you do? Put it in drive and you go for a drive, and you just go for a drive. And when you're going down the road, you get this, and you're like, man, this is nice. All right, so let's close up this video. And while I did mention that uh, a lot of people say, hey, that's a great looking car, but they don't know why, I want to run down why a restoration and uh, costs so much money and why this car is such a great value. First off, forget all of, let's say it costs $10 to restore or uh, $100,000 to restore. It doesn't really matter. The simple fact is you couldn't be driving this car. You couldn't be driving this car for at least two years if you're going to restore one. Let, so let's say you bought one off the street. This is 2024 and you want to buy a, a Mustang convertible to restore. It's going to cost you at least twenty dollars to $25,000 for a decent car, not a, a car that you can see through the floor pan that's in some, somebody's uh, front yard with mud up to here, right? Uh, then you're going to paint the car. That's at least ten dollars to $15,000 to do that. 4000 to 5000 for an interior, right? Where are we at right now? I guess we're at 30000 or something already. Uh, we're going to rebuild the engine. That's another 5000 We're going to rebuild the transmission. We're going to buy Redline tires. The tires alone are $1,500. It's why they look so good. They're great looking, right? Uh, new convertible top and on and on and on. Next thing you know, you're at $70,000 to restore the car and it's taking you two years to get there, right? And it is a full-time job. It's a lot of work. That's why this is the way to buy a car. Buy a car that's been restored. Enjoy it next weekend. Get out there and enjoy some life and uh, and have a great looking car at the same time. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this cool Mustang convertible. Uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. That helps get our message out. Subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And uh, if you don't mind, share it with your friends. Hopefully they'll like it as well. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, so good indication of quality. Um, even if you don't get this car, you miss this car, uh, is to ask for a cold start video. Because sometimes when cars warm up, uh, they perform and do things that they don't do when they're cold. So let's try a cold start video so you know. That's pretty nice when they start just up like that. Like you just push it out of the showroom, they would sure it would start. And now look what we have. We're looking at the exhaust, we're looking for smoke, we're looking for uh, uncomfortable stuff going on, and we don't really have any of that right now. We got a nice V8.
Nice. Cages are working like they're supposed to. 